An officer targeted while on duty. The ISIS-inspired attack happened in Philadelphia, but tonight, every single NYPD officer is on alert, too. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. Maurice is off. CBS 2's Jessica Schneider has more now on the officer ambushed. She's live in Times Square with a concern now for officers here. Jessica? Yeah, Christine, the NYPD says it is always on heightened alert. But with that Philadelphia suspect pledging allegiance to ISIS, NYPD's chief of counterterrorism sent out this memo today urging officers in the force to exercise heightened vigilance. So tonight, specially armed Hercules teams are out and ready here in Times Square. The attack is brazen and at extremely close range. Police say 30-year-old Edward Archer fired 11 times into this police car and directly at Officer Jesse Hartnett, hitting him three times. Officer Hartnett called for help before getting out of his cruiser, wounded and giving chase. The suspect, Edward Archer, was shot and taken into custody. His mother says he was a devout Muslim and felt targeted by police. After being caught, he allegedly swore his allegiance to ISIS. That is abhorrent. It's, it's just, it's terrible, and it does not represent the religion in any way, shape, or form or any of its teachings. Now in New York, the NYPD is imploring its officers to stay alert. This afternoon, all commands received a memo from the NYPD Chief of Counterterrorism reminding them there is a continued threat that members of the service face from individuals seeking to target law enforcement personnel for a variety of reasons, including terrorist motivations. It was just more than one year ago that officers Wenjin Liu and Rafael Ramos were shot and killed inside their patrol car in Brooklyn by a man vowing to kill officers as revenge for the death of Eric Garner. In Paris Thursday, a man armed with a knife lunged at police there before he was shot and killed. In Philadelphia, police say Archer approached the vehicle already firing and was intent to kill, though Officer Hartnett miraculously survived. Well, I think one, he had the grace of God, that's first and foremost. Um, but because I can't explain it based on my beliefs in any other way. But he had a will to live. And Philadelphia police say the gun used by that suspect was actually stolen from a police officer back in 2013. But investigators don't yet know how the gun got into the suspect's hands. Live tonight in Times Square, Jessica Schneider, CBS 2 News. So scary. Thank you, Jessica.